Ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seat belts and prepare your taste buds as we embark on a relentless journey through the kingdom of brews. Welcome to the realm of intoxicating flavors and head-banging beer reviews. What's up, everybody? It's the Ginger Yeti, and I'm checking in from home. Now, what I have for you today is something a little strange, a little different, and I don't know if anybody's ever reviewed one of these before. What it is, is funny water. Now, if you saw my uh, video from the Columbus Winter Beer Fest, it was a really good time. I didn't talk about this on that video, but this is one of the things that I had in the Connoisseur Reception. It's a new product. Uh, I guess it came out, it's relatively new. I guess it originally came out in 2021 for the best I can figure. And I haven't ever seen it up until the Beer Fest. Now, Funny Water is made by The Lab out of St. Paul, Minnesota, and the lab is kind of like a contract production brewery and research lab. So this was like something made for the Funny Water Company. And what Funny Water is, is it's a low alcohol water beverage. Uh, it's 3.75% alcohol. It's made from cane sugar. It's fermented cane sugar. It's gluten-free, zero grams of uh, sugar, one gram carbohydrates, Supposedly, it's got antioxidants and electrolytes in it. I, and it was made by some guys that go to music festivals or, or help produce music festivals. I mean, they see everybody out there partying and having a good time. And people tend to uh, overindulge a little bit and get dehydrated. <clears throat> so they wanted to find, figure out something or create something where you could party longer, still enjoy yourselves, but not get completely hammered and kind of stay hydrated. Right now, it comes in two different... Uh, Mixed six packs, the one you have I have in front of you, which is contains blueberry asahi, ginger lemon, and jalapeno lime. Uh, the other flavor, the other six pack is a uh, watermelon, a citrus, and a cucumber mint. <clears throat> and according to their website, they do plan on having more flavors in the future. I assume that depends on how successful this is. Of course, I'm going to struggle opening this up. So I'm going to review one of these now. And then I'll have the other two out later, probably sometime in March, I guess. The first one I'm pulling out is the Funky Water Blueberry Asahi. Alcohol-infused water with a little flavor and no bubbles. Yes, you heard that right. This is non-carbonated. So this is almost like, basically like flavored water with some alcohol in it. It says it's 80 calories. Nothing else real... Interesting on the can here. There's the can for you. Now, on Untapped, it lists this currently as a hard seltzer. But again, it's a pretty new product. And I don't know that hard seltzer is the right uh, classification for it. Because it's not a seltzer. It's a water. And I don't know how long this will actually stay on Untapped. Because Untapped is kind of weird about what they do to don't allow. I mean, they allow malt beverages, but some of the alcohol pops and things they don't allow and this isn't i don't know if this is considered even a malt beverage because it's it's fermented with cane sugar so it may or may not be on tap for very long this particular one gets a 3.24 on untapped with only uh 34 check-ins which is not surprising and there's nothing on beer advocate so when you look at that it kind of looks like it's carbonated but it's not um there are some bubbles in there, and that is just almost crystal clear. It, it's slightly, it's got a slight off color to it. I would almost say like, like dirty water, but it's just, it's almost imperceptible, but that's crystal clear. And when I opened it, it was a nice big, uh, like blueberry asahi smell. But stick my nose in there. Very faint blueberry smell. Um, kind of almost pick up a little sugar. But that might be the fermented cane sugar. It's almost like a, a alcoholy sugar smell, if that makes sense. But not much else on it. And again, this is, this is a strange new thing. Uh, alcoholic water. Let's see how it tastes. Cheers. Definitely no carbonation. 
you get a little bit of blueberry sahi. It's kind of faint. There is kind of a... I don't know how to describe that. I don't want... I mean, I want to say dirty, but dirty is not the right, right word. But you know it's not just straight up flavored water. But it's it's not bad. I mean... If you gave this to me, I think you'd put a little bit of flavoring in some well water or something. Uh, but that's not bad at all. I mean, it's supposed to, again, supposed to has ox, antioxidants, electrolytes. You could drink a lot of these. This would be really good for you when you're on a hot summer day, when you're out in the sun, going to festivals and things. You could have fun drinking these and probably not get too messed up. 3.75% alcohol is pretty low. Yeah, overall, this isn't bad. I mean, I'm surprised. It's just kind of a, a little bit of a funky blueberry acai kind of flavor. And it's pretty typical for all those flavored waters. It just kind of got that flavored water taste to it. It's not bad at all. I don't know if this is something I would drink regularly. I mean, maybe if I was hungover. Well, definitely if I was hungover, this might be a go-to to drink if I was going to have another day of drinking. Or if I was going to be out there, outside all day long in the sun at a festival... I wanted to drink something. I'd probably mix in a few of these with the beers and other things. You know, for what it is, I'd give it a horns up. It's really different. Something seems like it's pretty unique out there in the market right now. If you see in your area, I'd definitely check it out and uh, let me know what you think about it. And again, I'll have the uh, other two flavors up here probably in the next month or so. Probably sometime in March, I guess. Uh, the other flavors, this was the blueberry sahi. The other flavors will be the ginger lemon and the jalapeno lime. Until next time, embrace the adventure.